I always say a sign of piety, a sign of piety is when you humble yourself, when you treat people with utmost respect. Look at Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the highest of us. When faced with enemies, people who really mocked and scoffed, how did he deal with them? Look at the people of Ta'if, look at so many others. He dealt with them in a very polite way, very polite way. Subhanallah. In a way that they wouldn't have imagined, because he knew. Imagine when you know, and you know that you know, then Subhanallah, you don't need to flex your muscle. You don't need to. Here is the Prophet of Allah being told we can crush them. He says, don't crush them. They don't know. What would we have done? We don't even have the ability to crush them. He said, please crush these guys. You don't even have that ability. And what did they do to you? Nothing. They just overtook your vehicle. That's it. Another youngsters, I'll give you an example, mashallah. Road rage. Get excited. You know what? You're harming yourself. Protect yourself from this. By just humbling yourself, it's okay, they can come first, no problem, they can overtake the car, flash at them, wave at them. Mashallah, we had a group of youngsters yesterday excited to be next to us, pulled up. Here are the roads of London, the A406. I promise you they thought they were going to subtract a figure from there and make it the A405 the way they carried on. But to be honest, what did we have to do? We just let them be. A little while later they got fed up and went off. And I'm sure... I shouldn't blame them, but maybe they were just excited. Nonetheless, what happens sometimes, we forget that, hey, there are road rules, there are things we might end up harming ourselves and others just because on the spur of the moment, the heat of it, we've lost a little bit of the consciousness of where we are and what we're supposed to be doing. The same applies when Allah blesses you and you're devoid of faith or connection with Allah. You tend to forget for a moment.